Good afternoon and welcome to Chatterbox. Our stories for today, junior doctors are being put under the spotlight in a new BBC documentary called Junior Doctors. Also coming up on today's show, we sent our reporter Ellie down to Sick Festival to give us an insight into the charity event and what else is going on during their time at the Lowry. And our final story covers the great work by a new Salford funeral service which has saved an incredible £66,000 in its first year. Marcus will have all the details later in the programme. On to our very first story. Last winter, the BBC were given special access to junior doctors during their work at Salford Royal Hospital. The new series, based around their work, will, end, uh, will air at the end of this month. We sent our reporter to the hospital to see what people had to say about this new venture. The brand new series of Junior Doctors follows the 9 to 5 shift of a newly qualified doctor or nurse. The programme aims to shed light on the trials and tribulations that NHS employees must go through each time they step into their scrubs. You spend a lot of your day not really knowing what you're doing and feeling like you're just winging it. My first crash call, I didn't know what I was going to face when I got there, I didn't know what I'd have to do. Whilst visiting Salford Royal, we encountered many people going about their day. The busy hospital ward seems like a perfect fit for a BBC documentary due to the popularity of the hospital and the different types of people who visit. It's my second day of work ever. I had a patient who one minute was just having a cough, the next minute went straight into respiratory arrest. And I was the first doctor on the scene. I had no idea what I was doing. I had to call the crash team and my heart basically was probably beating just as fast as his. Episodes will air from Sunday, September the 22nd on BBC Three, with episodes starting on BBC One on Tuesday, the September the 24th, and it was running for four weeks. What an exciting story. It's good to see the junior doctors getting noticed. Well, our first week is done. How do you think it's gone? You know what? I've had a great time. I've met some lovely people and not so lovely people. No, I'm joking. What about you? Um, I'm actually slightly disappointed with the lack of good-looking men, to be quite honest. <laughs> Aren't we all? I mean, there's always the freshers fair later on. Maybe you'll find someone then. Anyway, on to the next story. Another exciting thing happening in the area is the Sick Festival. The Lowry Theatre is home to the Sick Festival for the next three weeks. To find out more on this exciting event, we sent Chatterbox's own Ellie to the venue to find out more. We're here outside the Lowry Theatre that's hosting the three-week-long Sick Festival. The festival focuses on showing different taboo topics through arts of performance, such as dance, theatre and debates. I think that it's, it's important to have these kinds of awareness because we have those that are trying to express their feelings or maybe that's their way in an art in an art form to send a message to other people yeah. and so uh, by us not expressing or not giving acknowledgement to those where we're kind of like not uh, helping with that message whatever it may be Ellie Double with Chatterbox thank you it's great to see so many issues being talked about now onto another issue affecting so many people Funerals are always tough to plan for everybody, but low-income families have a struggle with the grief and also with high costs of paying their respects to their loved ones. A double burden to say the least. Marcus, you've been looking at this story for the last few days. What can you tell us about it? Oh, well, that's right, Nathan. The, uh, the Fair Funeral Service launched last October and it saved over £66,000 for bereaved families. Uh, the council worked with Keynes, a local funeral directive, to ensure that prices were kept below the uh, competition. And... They've managed to um, carry out 47 funerals with the initiative since it began last October, which the council are uh, apparently very happy with. So what effect would you say this has had on the community then? Well, it was introduced to, um, to combat what the council call uh, poverty, um, funeral poverty, which is bereaved families will be bankrupt from the huge and, so and still soaring prices of funerals. So for, for the council to introduce this initiative, it means that they've saved on average £1.4,000 uh, for each funeral. Obviously this is uh, based in Salford, uh, do you think it's a good thing and would you expect it to be rolled out nationwide soon? Oh absolutely, if it, if it means people are saving money and they're, they're stopped from the brink of bankruptcy, I think it's of course a brilliant thing and I think it should be introduced across the UK, everyone should benefit from it. Marcus, thank you very much, for more information you can visit SalfordFairFunerals.org.uk Marcus, thank you very much. What an incredible organisation and what an incredible achievement for the local area. And now on to the weather. The outlook for the weekend looks fantastic. 
with sunny spells and highs of 24 degrees. Beautiful weather if you're planning on going out. I know I am. <laughs> That's all from the team here at Chatterboxes. Have a very good weekend. Goodbye. Goodbye.